Daniel Ricciardo has said he expects to finish the season at VCARB despite growing rumours of Liam Lawson replacing the Aussie after this weekend's Singapore Grand Prix. Ricciardo is under contract until the end of the season, but Lawson reportedly has it in his contract that he needs to drive at least five Grand Prix this season, and after Singapore, there will only be six left. Thanks for watching another GP Fans Global News video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. That way you stay up to date with all the latest in the world of F1. Ricciardo expects decisions about his future, both the immediate for the rest of the current season as well as for 2025, to be made after the Singapore Grand Prix. There is a three-week gap between the Singapore and the United States Grand Prix in October, which is when Ricciardo and Lawson will have to resolve their respective futures at Red Bull. The Athletic have reported that Lawson's contract not only states that he has to drive five races this season, but that if he does not get a drive in 2025, he is free to leave Red Bull altogether. Basically, I do expect a yes or a no for 25, Ricardo said during Thursday's media day in Singapore. And then yeah, I'm aware of some talk and speculation about the rest of the season. But that, being replaced after Singapore, for me at the moment, I'm unaware of. The decision I expect is for next year. Obviously, crazy things have happened in the sports. I'm also not going to stand here too boastful and confident and, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I believe I will be driving for the rest of the year, but let's see. Lewis Hamilton has challenged FIA president Mohammed Ben Sulayem over recent remarks in an interview which Hamilton claims to have a racial undertone. In the interview with Motorsport.com, Ben Sulayem said the organization wants there to be less swearing on team radios during Grand Prix, comparing drivers to rappers. I mean, we have to differentiate our sports, motorsports and rap music, he said. We're not rappers, you know. They say the F word how many times per minute? We are not on that. That's them and we are us. These remarks have not sat well with seven-time champion Hamilton, who agrees with the sentiment but challenged the FIA president over the phrasing of his remarks. He was not the only driver to react to this interview, as Max Verstappen also remarked that the drivers are not, quote, five- or six-year-old children and should not be censored. Hamilton's response was nuanced and added the following after saying younger drivers can forget how many people are listening when they swear. I'm sure if you say there are penalties for it, people will stop. I don't know whether that is needed, but I definitely think there is a little bit too much swearing. With what he is saying, I don't like how he expressed it. Saying it was rappers was very stereotypical, and if you think most rappers are black, it really points it towards, we're not like them. So I think those were the wrong choice of words, and there is a racial element there, but as I said, I agree with cleaning it up a little bit. And finally, Sergio Perez will have the disposal of a fully up-to-spec and repaired RB20 despite his hard crash in Baku only days ago. Perez hooked his Red Bull into Carlos Sainz Jr.'s Ferrari, causing both drivers to crash out of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix on Sunday. As far as moments to write off your car go, Perez and Sainz picked a very bad one. Only five days after their crash, they have to drive in free practice one in Singapore, some 4,000 miles away. This means both teams had to fabricate new parts for the cars and ship them to the other side of the world and fit them onto the car in time. While word on Sainz's Ferrari is unknown, Perez has confirmed that he will have the latest spec on his RB20 and that his gearbox and power unit have not suffered any damage. This is good news for Red Bull, who have to score every single point they can to keep up with new championship leaders McLaren. Thanks for tuning in to another GP Fans News video. Again, don't forget to subscribe and follow us everywhere to catch all the latest in F1. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.